I'm going to be continuing um, <coughs> from the last video which is video number 8 I guess um, the problem that we have right now is um, how to uh, navigate from one website to the next without having to type in the uh, URL at the top I mean had the um, the, in the inside the browser without having to type the URL like page 2, page 3 um, we can just have a school menu so I'm going to place a vertical navigation vertical navigation menu and just like I did earlier on remember when I uh, aligned the uh, content to the top in the middle section I'm going to do the same thing for the navigation so you want to select the um, the cell go to the style don't forget go to the style go to the block and do the vertical align to be the top and click OK so now uh, go to the menu the navigation area and just choose the menu right and as you can see uh, everything has been dropped out for us so now we have to choose a data source um, in summary very very briefly a data source means just what it means a data source where's the source for the data that is going to be displayed here and that is what we have to choose but because we don't have any data source that's why we have none here so now let's get a data source so how do we add a data source right click and choose add new item you're looking for a site map you have to bear with me it usually takes me time to find this I don't know every time I want to add a site map file I don't know you probably have seen it before uh, okay this is it <coughs> thank god that one it takes me quick <laughs> to see today you're looking for a sitemap just leave the name as it is web.sitemap and click on hard um, <coughs> this is what you want to do it's going to display this um, very very brief um, file for you and this is where you modify things so here you want to display the you want to input the URL of the page you remember the URL uh, of each page so the first URL here is um, you want to have this squiggle it's called squiggle I don't know if that's what it's called but that's what I had been called squiggle there. you want to have a slash and the name of the website dot ASPX the name of the page sorry do you understand the title this will be shown on the link on page this is what's going to be showing on the navigation link and the description you just give it a description this is the on page <coughs> I want to do that for page 2 and page 3 so do the same thing here okay go slash page 2 dot ASPX don't forget the ASPX is very essential sometimes I forget and I just say page 2 that's what's going to be displayed and uh, just a small description this is page 2 this is just a description now you want to add for page 3 so all you have to do is just uh, follow the same thing you get this you say URL equals just had it uh, page 3 dot ASPX tie to equals page 3 can you see that we're getting help quickly and uh, description equals this is page 3 and you just want to close that <coughs> just like you do on HTML so we have our sitemap We've populated it with the. Um, if you have more than every time you had a page, you have to come in to add it, and uh, it's very quick. Click on close. It's gonna have you want to save it. Do you want to save changes? Of course, want to save changes. We have the changes. So now, now that we have our sitemap, we have to connect it to this menu. So now we have to go to the data. So remember, we couldn't choose a data source, but now we can select new data source here so our data source is sitemap remember we just create a sitemap click on sitemap 
specify an ID for the data source you can just uh, leave it as the default just click on OK so we've connected to the our sitemap uh, just leave everything everything I will be explained in the future and it's been connected to the sitemap so why are we not seeing our, our menu? The reason is because we have to modify the um, hold on the menu. I'll show you. Where is it? I'm always looking for this. Is the static uh, static? Oh, where is it? Yeah, is there your okay, yeah. Static display level. Uh, oh, sorry. Static display level. Sorry, it's two. I want to choose the static display level to be two. I'll tell you why it's two in a minute. If you open the Web dot sitemap again, you can see this. This is the first node, isn't it? Actually, this is the zero one two. If you get what I mean, so which means you can actually easily have a uh, sub menu within a menu. You can have a menu with sub menu because if I input anything here and I say it should start at one, that means this one will be the sub menu. Don't worry, I'll explain what that means. So, if you go back to the, can you see now? We said the uh, static display level should be two. If you say one, because if you say one, it's not going to display anything. Because if you look at the web the site map, this is the first node, and there's nothing in there. If I put items in there now, that means this one will be the sub menu for this do you understand i'm sure you do you're very smart okay so let me get out of there and let me change the menu it's very easy to find you see this is not what you want to select you want to select the main the menu so let's select the menu from here and uh, get the property and change the static display level to be two to be two okay so now that we have our static display level to be two, let's run our application. Let's run our default.asp.net application. Do not reference from the place of the country. It's okay. It's because we deleted the previous content placeholder two, and you know, it's, we haven't saved it. That's what's telling us that it has some errors. <coughs> Don't worry, the errors will disappear. Uh, it hasn't disappeared. Okay, I'll tell you how to fix it. It's not a problem. Uh, if we because um, if we go to the source, we can see that it has added the content placeholder to. Uh, all we just have to do is just delete it, isn't it? Uh, ASP content, ID content, three runner server content placeholder the uh, content. Just delete the culprit. We don't need the culprit there. Let's save it. Does the same thing happen to our page two? Um, let's see page two source. No, it's good. Okay, let's run our application again. It's because I deleted the uh, content placeholder two. Remember in the previous example. Anyway, we're back to. So now we have a menu. We can go to our default page, our page two, our page three. So we've got a menu. We've got a menu. So we're happy, hands we? We're happy, glad. It's changing. So that's how you do your menu. Oh, before I go quickly, uh, let me see if I can. Oh, no, don't worry, I'll do this in the next video. Thank you.